Hello and welcome to episode 52 of Idol Slayer 100% Achievement Journey. If you've been watching this series, you know that there's this Ascension upgrade that I've been wanting for a very long time. Well, today we'll get it. And now we seem to be close to Ultra Ascending. But first we need to look at the new patch 4.2. As you can see in this first clip, we got 31 SD. This will enable us to have access to new quests. Let's check them out. Merchant quest, that's from episode 50. But it was too expensive, but now I'm able to get them. There's three quests. Uh, the toxic gases will be funny. You will see how fast I'll complete it. Mega Horde, I'll get a bunch of Mega Hordes in this episode. I have to switch characters for one of the quests. I need to use Roy. Shattered Souls. So this gives 15% bonus souls. 6% bonus CPS for this one. And this one unlocks a new type of mob. Poisonous Gases. And I'll ask for your opinion about this mob. You'll see it's uh, special compared to any other mob in the game so far. So I went straight to the factory and I decided to spend some mats to uh, complete the quest quicker but I was very surprised at how fast I was able to clear it and I started recording right in the middle of an incredible sequence. So I'm gonna put the black screen and you're gonna see what happened. Use rage pill. I'm about to use rage mode. White stone as well because I'm getting some mats from the jellies and check this out look at that 16,000 bang just like that this was a mega horn and it was sufficient to right away get 16,000 kills and check how much time it took me a minute 10 seconds <laughs> that's how you do a quest yes Cost me some mats, but it's okay. I'm gonna farm them. Okay, those mo th those mobs take two hits. See, they have a health bar. I'm gonna show you something. If I shoot from very close, two arrows hit at once. Check this out. See how it kills them? But otherwise, it takes me two shots. I don't really understand how it works. Look, see? Two of them are already half health. So please let me know what you think of that. I really don't understand it. I went on Discord and nobody seemed to... Uh, understand what's going on to be frank but I didn't stay too long so uh, I don't know what to think of it because is it worth it right you miss so many kills I don't know okay now I'm just checking if I can upgrade equipment so I can get more CPS which is not the case then uh, I will have to farm some mats because I spend some so I decided to go to the Mystic Valley. But we'll do a jump cut and I will appear in the frozen fields. That means in between I was farming and I'm probably here because of the quest as usual because it's not a good spot to farm normally. 10 Ultra Ascension points. I'm gonna talk about that a bit later. Okay, I'm going to ascend and finally after all this time, 3 billion and uh, 3 trillion Ascension CPS bonus, by the way. Finally, I'll get the two things I've been wanting for a long time. Ancient Treasures and this one, Silk Master. So gloves and cape already unlocked uh, after I ascend, I think, or something like that. Anyways, they're Astral Lock, so they will activate once I draw Ascend. And I'm not sure if I should Ultra Ascend soon or not. I couldn't yet because this is today's footage, there was a new patch today, Armory. Now, next episode we'll talk more about the Armory, uh, there is, uh, because it takes a while to get some uh, items, plus 10% chance of getting an Armory item after completing a bonus stage. So on average every 10 bonus stage I get one item, and look at that, one septum decillion. Uh, that's very expensive just to have more slots so we'll figure this out for next episode but we'll look at it a little bit we're gonna get our first one and look at this mega horror I don't even care about it I got a bunch like I said and 
I think I removed one or two. I was very lucky with them, but without upgrades, it's not that spectacular. I don't really, really care because I knew I was recording. And here you can get armory chest from the chest hunt mini game as well for 50 trillion. Yeah, no thanks. I can't afford this at all. Here I'm just pointing, I got these two things. And I can get this now. I got 95 billion and I will get this and 11 UA points right now. And now my favorite dark divinity of all time, Regret. Yes, I did not like bonus stage 3 because I was so used to bonus stage 2 and what I care about is the boxes you get at the end for being perfect. Bonus stage 3 I had troubles and often I would not get those boxes. Especially with the uh, Silver Death, it was a nightmare. But the guys are done, so I can go back to bonus stage 2. That's just the beginning to celebrate my comeback to bonus stage 2. But there's something I want to show you. Doing bonus stage 3 was not in vain. I developed a new skill. Check this out. And then at the end, I'm going to show you the finish of another bonus stage 2. Okay? Check this out. In slow motion. I'm about to fall, but I do a wall jump like I learned in bonus stage 3. So I no longer regret doing bonus stage 3. Well, I don't regret at all because I wanted to do those guides and I was curious about the stage. But this is so much easier and I want those boxes. So that's the end of another bonus stage and I'm going to get my first uh, weapon for the armory. So let's see if it's any good. And uh, we'll visit the village as well. Here I cut because I had a phone call and every time I click on this on top, I'm hoping to get the final achievement for offline gains, but I still don't have it. I'm probably going to have to take a screenshot or something. Okay. These are my materials, that's fine. So this is what I got. Not very spectacular, plus 45% fire type souls, but that's all I got, so I can equip it. 3% bonus CPS. If you look at the CPS up top, see it went up a little bit. I can break it if I want to, but we'll look at that next episode. I just want to go to the village to see how it works. Another uh, equipment base CPS bonus. And uh, we'll fast forward this. What I was trying to do is simply to get maybe a times 20 and a bonus stage. That would have been really nice, but unfortunately it didn't happen. And towards the end, I'll give up and use Rage Mode. So yeah, Armory, uh, <laughs> you'll see how expensive it is in terms of divinities. But I do have Dragon Eggs in reserve and my minions are higher level so I can um, prestige them if I need to. You'll see what I mean when I enter the village in a moment. Let's go there. We're in the village. Let's talk to everybody until we find somebody new. It's a beautiful day in the village. Yeah, that's not very useful. Oh. Amelia is gonna help me. So she's going to help me upgrade my weapons. And you will see how expensive it is. It's gonna take forever. So we'll see how I approach that next episode. I'm going to have to do a lot of bonus stages with only 10% chance of getting new weapons. This is not impressive. 120 divinity points to go from 45 to 60% fire type souls. No thanks. I think I'll pass. Uh, that's not impressive. Let's hope to get something much better. And here I'm just going to visit the whole village just in case there's something new. And there isn't. So... Here's a jump cut. We're gonna get out of here. Let's go in the hot desert again. As you can see, I really like farming here. I think it's the best place. So yeah, armory. These are my mats I'm gonna have to farm. 34 dragon eggs. As I said, it's gonna help me. When it comes to divinities, I don't know what to get next. Anyways, I'm gonna have to burn divinities on weapons i guess related to armory oh yeah i'm going to ascend also so let's get this for 150 million i couldn't read what it was you can rewind if you want too fast 
uh, and I'm going to get this as well. Let's ascend, and I'll ask you again, what do you think? Do you think I should ultra ascend with 11 points? Or should I stretch it? Another mega horror, by the way. Uh, I'm not sure what to do. I'll think about it. But first, I want to explore the armory, do a bunch of bonus stages. Maybe I'll reach 12 ultra ascension points. Maybe I'll try to get that 85 billion upgrade on the top right because it's uh, astral. This one, I don't know. And if I stay for a longer period, the thing that gives me three silver boxes instead of two when I got three uh, randomness, I might get that too, we'll see. These are my stones of time. We haven't seen those in a while. And I'm following the guy that's on Discord because um, the diminishing returns are so serious that I want to minimize their impact. And here I'm just flexing, trying to show you how fast I can get to the cave, but I was slowed down by this giant. There you go, here's the cave. Let's take a look at the achievements. There's a few new achievements uh, with this patch related to the armory. I'm gonna scroll down. 33 left, but they're not easy to get. Take a long, 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 long time. Uh, so this is Spirit Boost, I got them all, it's all good. Break your first item from the armory, so I'll get that next episode easily. I can break whatever I have right now. Easy. And then what else? Plus 7 items, so I'm gonna have to get pretty good items and even an excellent item, whatever that means. This concludes episode 52 of Idol Slayer 100% Achievement Journey. Next episode we'll look at the armory in more details and we'll decide when we should ultra ascend and please let me know what you think in the comments. I hope you liked this video. If you did please hit thumbs up and leave a comment below. If you want to support this channel you can subscribe and hit the notification bell to make sure you don't miss future videos. Thank you for watching and see you next time.